TCL Mini LED sets were an early innovation and represent the pinnacle of LCD evolution. Still, the latest televisions from companies like LG and Samsung feature significantly more. You can say that Mini LEDs are well able to compete with OLEDs, which are quite popular. So for today's topic, Mini LED versus OLED, which TV tech is better? Differences and comparison. To simplify things, we'll compare the two based on specific attributes that would matter to a user. So let's get right into it. First on our list is the lighting per pixel. The main benefit of OLED is the ability to light each pixel. Since each OLED pixel generates light, brightness, and contrast levels can be finely adjusted. While Mini LED is similar to OLED, both are designed to improve LCD TV backlighting control. The two technologies operate differently. Mini LED TVs of the future may feature as many as 3,000 individual light zones. That's a significant step up from standard LCD TVs. However, it still suggests low-resolution adjustments to brightness and color saturation. OLED displays have more than 8 million zones because of their per-pixel lighting. Think of an OLED screen that is completely black except for one brilliant white light. Now imagine 8 million of that. This is the technique behind OLED's lighting. In comparison, many LEDs are subpar. In a 4K panel with around 3,000 lighting zones, each backlight zone would drive around 2,700 pixels, so a mini LED TV isn't even close. Mini LED will not be able to provide adequate lighting for objects with intricate designs. As we'll see, mini LED won't have trouble reaching its maximum brightness. Still, it won't be able to eliminate artifacts like bright halos around dark objects. Speaking of brightness, another important feature to check for, and we'll be talking about that soon, so stay tuned and don't miss out. There is more. Mini versus OLED. In a landslide, OLED emerges victorious in this feature. Moving on, we will compare them next based on their viewing angles. Mini LED TVs are essentially the newest variety of LCD panels with an improved backlight. Home theater expert Robert Silva said on Quora, Mini LEDs work the same way as standard LEDs do. They provide the light source for LCD TVs. In other words, LED TVs are actually LED LCD TVs. The fundamental method of projecting an image onto an LCD panel has not changed, nor have the inherent limitations, such as the inability to adjust the panel's color when viewed from an angle other than straight on. When it comes to viewing angles, OLED panels are without a peer. OLED has better viewing angles than LCD technology including Mini LED because it is a self-emissive technology in which light is generated by the pixel itself. Mini LEDs are fresh on the market, so you might wonder if it would be better to toss out your OLED since new things are generally better. However, that may not be the case. Not to worry, this is what our channel is here for to keep you informed on which appliance is what you are looking for. So subscribe and get an alert whenever we drop a video. Next, we'll move on to brightness. OLED televisions have a dim picture. The standard retort is that they are unnecessary because of a high-quality contrast already present. As a result of OLED's ability to produce nearly perfect black levels, the contrast between bright and dark pixels is striking. In recent years, OLEDs have become increasingly bright. The quality of LG's panels has been rising. Sony says its new OLED panel can reach 1,300 nits bright enough to damage your eyes. Too bright, it burns! Ah! But only for a few milliseconds in a tiny area. While the best LED backlit LCD TVs can maintain as much as 800 nits across the entire panel, most existing OLED panels only manage around 200 nits. Mini LED only looks to amplify that disparity. To our knowledge, Mini LED has a clear advantage here. However, remember that luminance alone isn't enough to judge HDR quality, contrast, and color accuracy. We'll go into detail later in the video about the color accuracy feature comparing mini LEDs versus OLEDs, so don't miss out. Still, mini LEDs shine brighter than their larger counterparts. Now, OLED versus mini LED in terms of speed and response. In terms of this feature, there are two main problems. 
One is the time lapse, or latency, between the transmission of video data from a device, like a console or PC, and the appearance of an image on a particular screen. The other is how long it takes for individual pixels to process and react to new image data. LCD panels are currently the fastest screens in terms of latency, albeit usually gaming monitors and not necessarily TVs. In contrast, OLED technology has a natural benefit in responsiveness. Crystals must move in response to an electric current to refresh an LCD. This development has sped up in recent years, though it does take time. This makes it difficult to decide between mini LED versus OLED for gaming. In terms of high quality revitalization, nothing beats OLED panels. They have better pixel response, but mini LED screens have lower latency. To conclude, the victor would depend on the criteria used. Again, we'll compare mini LED versus OLED based on color accuracy. Previously dominated by OLED, LED TVs have recently made great strides in color accuracy, color brightness, and volume, thanks to incorporating quantum dots into the backlight. Mini LED and OLED TVs are available with a wide color gamut and high dynamic range for those interested in these features. With the technology's superior contrast ratio, HDR on an OLED TV will look better in low light settings. However, HDR on a premium LED TV screen will look better overall due to its ability to produce highly saturated colors at luminance levels that OLED can't match. So for this round, we'll say it's a tie. Furthermore, many LEDs versus OLEDs based on price. Until now, OLED televisions have been noticeably more costly. Very, very expensive. And That's why they're still the best choice and haven't expanded to cover the whole market. But the newest 8th generation OLED substrates are the most cost effective to date. Compared to older LCD backlight technologies, many LED implementations are more complicated and costly. Many LED panels are only 10% cheaper than today's OLED screens. Still, some industry analysts believe this is due to their high manufacturing complexity. The final cost may be very close where the more affordable 8th generation OLED panels are factored in. It is difficult to put a claim on this one, since the prices vary depending on the grade you are looking for, so we'll leave it for you guys. Which do you think are pricey? Share your thoughts in the comment section. It is unclear how much more affordable or bright the next generation 8th gen OLED panels and the latest mini LED TVs will be. Still, the per pixel nature of OLED displays is likely to prove advantageous in the long run. However, this is just our opinion. If you enjoyed watching this video, you like our next best OLED TV 2022, you should buy now. Don't hesitate. Thanks for watching.